Hello, the process of adding a new page in WordPress is virtually identical to adding a post. Actually, it's simpler because you don't have to think about categories. I will show you how to do it in this video. But firstly, note that, if you did not install Classic Editor plugin, please see our other video of adding a new page in the default Gutenberg block editor. Here, I focus on the Classic Editor of WordPress. To create a WordPress page, start by logging into your dashboard admin area, now, hover your cursor over the Pages menu item on the navigation menu located on the left hand side of the dashboard, and click Add New. The default screen does not look much different from Add New Post. The content editor forms the bulk of the screen. On the right side, you can see the Publish meta box with the featured image meta box at the bottom. In the title box, enter Jamaica. Then simply paste text into the content editor. For more details, please see our previous videos of working with text and media, optimizing the text contents or creating a new post, as the process of adding a new page is identical to adding a post. And that's it. We are ready to publish. Now, let's the page attributes meta box. The first option in the page attributes meta box is the parent drop down menu. It displays a list of all published pages on your site, enabling you to make this new page a child of any one of them. A child is just another way of saying a subpage. By default, any new page is a top level parent, that is, it isn't the child of any other page. In the Jamaica page example, there was no logical parent page. But one option would be to create a page called destinations and make Jamaica and all the other country pages children of that parent. Why use the parent drop down system? It may be important for having a clear URL structure because a child will have the parent in its URL. Every theme has a default layout for pages. Often the theme creates different layouts for various purposes by means of page templates. If a theme has any templates beyond the default, those appear in page attributes as a drop-down. The number of templates depends on the theme, but you could have dozens to choose from. Usually, the name of the template is self-explanatory. The full-width template in 2014, for example, prevents any sidebars from showing on a page. Some templates create their own content, you simply add a new page, give it a title, and then choose the template. Also, you can use the order attribute to control the order in which WordPress displays pages under certain circumstances. If your theme uses the default WordPress menu, you can bypass its alphabetical listing of pages by specifying the order. Enter 1 for the first menu item, 2 for the second, and so on. Now, let's see a tab named Featured Image. Select Set Featured Image by clicking on the drop down arrow. Then, select an image directly from your media library or upload an image from your system. After selecting the image, click the Set Featured Image button located on the bottom right corner of the window. So, your page has now an featured image. Concerning the discussion meta box, check the case if you allow comments on this page, uncheck box means that viewers do not allow to make their comments. Concerning the permalink meta box, there's little reason these days to use this meta box when dealing with pretty permalinks. It means that you can modify this auto-created URL of your page here. Lastly, if you like the video, subscribe for more video. Thanks and see you soon in the next videos.